and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing a look using this palette be in love with palette and this is by makeup obsession now this was like six pound I think from revolution which is a bargain these are the colors you get in it I have used it once or twice so yes we are going to be doing a look with that palette today I was just looking through my makeup and I was like do you know what I think I have like close to 60 eyeshadow palettes so maybe I should start doing looks on my eyeshadow palettes rather than I don't know or, or do I can still do something glam or whatever with it can't I do you know what I mean it's just do different looks with the eyeshadow palettes I have because I, I I keep buying makeup I can't stop it's really bad um, so yeah, I just thought, no, I've got enough here. I need to start using what I have. So, that being said, let's begin, shall we? So, I'm going to start off with my primer. And the primer I'm using is this. It's the Soothing Serum by Beauty Bay. And this is for people with clogged pores and oily skin. Absolutely love this stuff. So apply it to here, here, a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my chin, and then just rub it in. So now that we've done that we're now going to move on to our foundation and as always I'm going to be using the Lottie London foundation selfie ready in the shade ivory this is a medium coverage matte foundation and you can get it from look fantastic for six pound 99 I think you can also probably get it from Lottie for the same price um, so I'm going to apply that with a Dampen Beauty Blender. Okay guys, now that our foundation is done, I'm now going to apply some concealer. Sorry, everything's falling over here. The concealer that I'm going to use is this. It's the Muir Pro Base Concealer. This is a full coverage concealer and it's in the shade 100. I love this. £2.50 from Beauty Bay. I have just ordered another two because I love it that much. I don't want to run out. <laughs> It is a really good concealer. Okay guys, so concealer done. Next I'm going to be applying my bronzer and the bronzer that I'm using is this. It's the Outdoor Girl Bronzer and this was a pound from Poundland, okay? And this is my daily bronzer. I have, I like, I literally, a pound. Have this. So we're going to be applying this bronzer to... to 
to our cheeks just to kind of I do it so it like molds my face makes my face look slightly slimmer I don't know if you could like tell it does make it look slightly slimmer um, so we do what I do I do either side of my cheeks the top of my forehead and a little bit either side either side of my nose on the bottom of my nose and of course this jawline to get rid of that double chin so Next, we are going to be applying blusher, and the blusher that we're going to be using is this. It's the Muir Whipped Velvet Blush in the shade Ritzy, and this is a pound from Poundland. Just grabbing a brush. So we're going to apply this to the apples of our cheeks. going for the rosy look today by the looks of it <laughs> um is this even guys i have been using this blusher as a powder and it's a cream okay well i did not know that it's been going on okay though Okay, something new I've learned today. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it, that was a pound from Poundland. Next, we're moving on to a highlighter, which is my fave. It is the Beauty Bay's own highlighter in the shade Flash. Love, love, love this highlighter. Um, I went a bit soft on my highlighter in the last video, so let's make up for it. Or should I just do it? No, I will, I will go quite soft in my highlighter. I say soft, softer than normal. That's it guys, basic makeup done. Now we're gonna move on to our eyebrows and start off by brushing the foundation out of them and shaping them slightly, ready for our eyebrow pen. Okay, so the eyebrow pen that I'm gonna be using to shape them is this. It's the Soap and Glory Archery Brow Tint and Precision Shaping Pencil and this is about £9 from Boots so I am going to bring you down here so you can actually see me talking them. <clears throat> here we go.
I have messed my brows up, guys, big time. It is the day before fireworks night, guys, so if you hear the odd bang, then that is why. Now we're just going to brush them out. Okay guys, I am leaving my brows like that because I don't want to mess them up anymore. So, eyebrows done. Next, I'm going to be priming my eyelids with this. This is the Beauty Bay's own primer, eyelid primer, and it is in the shade Base One, which is white colour. And this is six pound from Beauty Bay. So I just apply it with this, and then I rub it. Basically, apply it in them with a brush. I do need to add a little bit more to the other eye. So I'm literally just going to put a little bit on my brush and go with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, guys, so that is our eye nice and primed let me just grab some eyeshadow brushes whilst I'm here because it saves me looking for them there's so many different brushes so let's start with the palette then shall we um okay so I'm feeling Maybe start off with Treasure. Romeo and Bond are very similar, so. Oh, I don't know. No, I'm gonna go for Soulmate first for the inside, which is this color. I'm going for the Soulmate for the inside color. Hopefully, it's a good choice. We shall see. So, let me bring you down here. <laughs> Sorry, there is a bit of fallout. I am really liking this colour though. It's so pretty.
So I think we're done with the first colour. I'm quite surprised with how pigmented the colours are actually. Um, they are really good for a £6 palette. I'm quite happy with that. I would happily pay £6 for eyeshadows that are as pigmented as this one. Next we're going to move on to the shade Bew which is the starker shade I'm going to be having that then on the rest of our eye here about equal to me so next guys we are gonna blend these colors out because they are a little bit OTT aren't they so I'm gonna blend these two together first Okay, so I think that looks okay. I'm now gonna just blend it out a little bit on the edges. Okay guys, so moving on to our next colour. Now I'm going to be putting the shade Romeo, this one here. I'm going to be applying that to my crease and then just blending it in. Okay, so we are going to blend that bit into our crease with this brush. But because I want more sparkle, I am going to be applying this. I think it's like a putty kind of thing. But I'm going to be applying that to the top bit of the eye. 
So let me do that. So this is the shade Starry Eyed. Okay guys, I am going to apply one more colour, and that is the colour Dreamer, and that's just going just on the inside for here, it's like you just to lighten it up a little bit. keep on going further and further with it so I'm going to use this brush just to blend that in a little bit I'm doing all this I haven't even thought about lipstick or anything so <clears throat> I am now gonna apply some of this lighter shade here adore it's more of a skin sort of color so I'm gonna apply that in this gap here just so it defines the eyeshadow more Same on the other side. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, guys. So next, I am going to be. I am applying a colour to my waterline. Actually, I forgot to do that. So the colour that I'm going to be applying to my waterline, I have eyeshadow all over my top, is this light colour here. Oh no, actually, no. It's going to be this report shade here oh I don't know no I've changed my mind again guys sorry it's gonna be this shade here dreamer because it's sparkly Okay guys, so that's that done. Now it's time to apply the brows. So I want to clear a bit away here for the glue so it didn't go everywhere. The brows that I'm going to be using, the brows, what am I saying? I have indigestion, I'm sorry. The eyelashes that I'm going to be using are the same ones that I use in another video. I do reuse them. I just clean them and reuse them. Um, these were 12 pairs for 7 dollars on AliExpress. So 
also an absolute bargain. Did I get my glue out? I'm sure I did. Sorry guys, I have to have a drink. I'm so thirsty. Okay, <clears throat> now I can concentrate. So the glue that I use is this. And I apply my glue to my actual, I don't know where that noise came from, to my lash line. Instead of putting it on the eyelashes, I put it on my lash line. I just find it so much easier. So let me pull this down, because no doubt I will be down here doing this. This always happens. I squeeze it too much and loads of glue comes out. time I've had trouble applying lashes but this is only my like third or fourth time so okay that one's that that's that one done it is slightly high as well oh, I might as well use the glue that's on my counter because <sighs> We are obviously going to add some eyeliner now, guys, because we need some for this bit. Um, so yeah, I can't believe I've got glue everywhere again. Otherwise, it's going to be sticky. Okay, I think the eyelashes are okay. The eyeliner that I'm going to be using is this. It's the dual ended eyeliner by Revolution. And I'm going to be using the, I think that's the thin end. Yeah. This bit. So, I need to you down again because I'm no doubt my head's going to go down. So now I'm going to apply some mascara to my eyelashes because I need to get the ones underneath because it's looking very light under there. So, oh. So yeah, this is the second time me using the same lashes, which is pretty good because it just means that I don't have to buy them as much then, doesn't it? Okay guys, so I'm now going to select a lipstick. This is why I like to do it with the clicky thing because you get to see me like reaching for stuff and how unprepared I am. Moving on to our lips now, and it's going to have to be a kind of nude colour, isn't it, I think, to go with this. I have a lot to choose from. don't really want anything too dark, so I'm going to choose that lip liner, and I am going to choose... I'll just go with this one. I have used it before. 
this is the Miwa Velvet Matte Long Lasting Lip Liquid Lip um, in the shade Anti Gravity. So I'm going to do my lips first, my pencil again. I'll have you down here. So. I don't think that's going to be big enough. Oh, we'll see. Let me put the lipstick on. That's about done. So, this is the final look. So that is our eyes using a six pound palette. I don't know if you can see them, like. <laughs> so yeah, <clears throat> this makeup palette was six pound. And it is by Makeup Obsession, which is basically by Revolution. Um, if you love your nudes and stuff, this is a good colour to have. Also, it's got some lovely autumnal shades in there. It's like giving you the warm, cosy vibe, do you know what I mean? So yeah, guys, that was my makeup tutorial for that palette. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, if you're new to my channel, then hey, like I do videos like this daily, so um, it'll be a different look every day, obviously. Um, so yeah, there's always something going on on my channel. Um, if you're enjoying this and enjoy the rest of my content, then please subscribe to my channel, guys. I really do appreciate it if you already have. Like, it means a lot that someone's actually taken time out of their day to watch me put makeup on it's, it's crazy thinking of that um but yeah no I really do appreciate it I really really do um but yeah guys that's it for today um I shall see you guys tomorrow no doubt with another look I'm, I'm feeling like maybe like black grey tomorrow I don't know so yeah I'm gonna see you tomorrow guys have a great day bye